Hi, I'm Dale from Sarah's Kids, and this I want to show you a mini book that I made recently, and I ha I'm going to be selling the kit on my Etsy site, which is Sarah's Kids. So here's the book. Um, the cover has antique lace and grunge paper flowers, plus ribbons and bling and all kinds of things. And the book is made uh, from envelopes and cardstock. And here's the first page. And it has a little tag that pulls out. And then this is the first page. And there's a wonderful flap. And then inside is a tag that's very much decorated. And on the back. And the next page ha has another flap for more tags and more journaling if you want and more places for pictures. And then this is another just a cardstock page that has a butterfly on it and some embossed roses that are quite pretty. Um, the back of that is similar. And then we come to another flap page with a tag. And on the other side there's more tags. And another cardstock page with some more embellishments on it. Again antique lace. Flowers and tags. another flap page with another place to put pictures or whatever you want. More tags. Another page. More tags. Um, many, many tags. And finally, a tag that's a butterfly. And the last page is for pictures or whatever you want to put on there. And then there's a tiny little tag in the back in a library card. And that's the book. And so now I'm going to show you what comes in the kit. First of all, there are some tags that you can use as models or you can cover with the paper. Then we have the cardstock for the cover, which is already cut. Now we have the pages, the papers, and there are 15 sheets, eight and a half by eight and a half that are double-sided. This is from the K and Company Madeleine collection and some added things in there. This is the one I used for the cover. Very pretty. These are just beautiful. Look at all the butterflies. You can cut them out or you can and use them for embellishments or what have you. Some are kind of lighter than others. Um, they, they're just very shabby chic. This page has lots of words on it, but the back is beautiful and green with roses. And this is one of my favorite pages. Another one like that. Some kind of Paris things. Okay, that's the paper. Plus you get the cardstock that matches to make the tags and the extra pages that go in between the envelopes. 
Um, there's a green that matches, a kind of mauve color, a dark red, a beautiful pink, and an olive green. And these pages are 4 by 12, and you can cut them up as you wish. All of these pages. Plus you get the five envelopes that are the basis for the book. You get written directions for the book. And I was inspired, by the way, by Laura from following the paper trail. And I changed the book slightly to be my own, but most of it was inspired by her, so I thank her very much. And now in the kit are all kinds of little embellishments. There are some stickers, there's some rub-ons, some I made, some punches, some tags. These are all label tops that are punched out. There's some bling and some tiny butterflies. Look at this. So pretty. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, that's one bot. Um, this envelope has the antique lace for the cover. It's just beautiful lace. And then some extra antique lace that you can use to decorate your pages. There's about four or five pieces of this. And then ribbon and fiber in all matching colors. Hundreds of pieces. <laughs> Then we have some more flowers, some of which I made for the kit, and some plus little thingies. There's a one that came from a kit that was already made, but these are paper flowers, pa flowers that you can put together in matching things, some brads that go together. Now for the cover, I uh, cut out already the flowers for the roses and you can go on YouTube and watch how to make these flowers and I had a hard time getting the right colors so one is untreated grunge paper but the others for the other two flowers are treated grunge paper. I sprayed them with gesso so that the when you use distress inks on them, they come out more true to the color that we want. There are wires to make the flowers and that's the, oh, one more thing. There's some rub-ons to put on the pages and the tags and some ribbons that have been cut for the poles for the tags that go into the flapped envelopes. And some paper lace. So that's all. Hope you enjoyed looking at this video.